Welcome to 144,000 Teachers, the first fruits unto God and to the land. We invite you to enter into the menu to the library where we will show you beautiful books, digital books for health. As we enter into the library, we recommend that you scroll down and you will reach out to two series. We have a, two series of 19 books, but we want you to reach out to 14C, which we will enter right now, right here. And it's called From Natural Foods to Natural Remedies, 19 books. And it starts with Essential Medical Guide for Wilderness Survival, and it will bring you all the way to ways to purify and clean pure water, which is majorly important to know how to do that. And just to give you a taste, we have chosen a few of the books, Herbal Apothecary at Home, and this is how to prepare herbs. And this is very important to follow. If you have never, never done it before, it would be really, really uh, good if you could start studying it first before you have to use them and preferably always find glass containers because if you find metal or if you find plastic it will sip through the herbs eventually and your herbs will not be of good value so glass is always recommended especially when you want to preserve them and some have longer shelf time than others but if you are basically able to seal them well, you might be able and also keep them away from the light. Those particular herbs may not be uh, what you find in your area, but most of them, you might recognize them. Aloe vera, for example, is one that we can find pretty well anywhere. Uh, chamomile is very, very good. Those are sweet herbs. Cinnamon, uh, cassia, and then you have uh, evening primrose, uh, garlic, ginger, they, these particular herbs, may, they may not seem like very, very high level, but they are very, very good for when you try to care for people. Another one that is very good is golden seal. Golden seal is what we call a bitter herb. They are sweet herbs. Like for example, you would say um, peppermint is a sweet herb, but golden seal is a bitter herb. And combined with sweet herb echinacea, it is very, very good for the immune system. You can fight major disease with them. Golden seal will actually take care of the disease while um, if you use a, a combination and you use them in uh, homeopathy, like a tincture, you can use both together with the right proportion and you will get a very potent, very potent uh, herb. Golden seal for healing. And echinacea is to boost the immune system. So you can see in your own area what you have for herbs. Do not buy too many or, or go to the field and, and bring a lot because you need to prepare them well. But learn what to do with them is very important. For example, Sanjun wort. Sanjun wort is very, very good. It's an herb that calms the nerves. And especially if you deal with people that have a tendency to be depressed or suffering from PTSD which is uh, when they are very much coming back from extraordinary stress, like for example, coming back from war, like soldiers, they will suffer from PTSD. And you will help them by giving them the Sanjun word and that will calm them down. Valerian is another beautiful one. It's an herb and it has been used for creating Valium, which is to sleep. It's to calm you down and allow you to sleep when you cannot sleep. For example, yarrow, that's a very common flower that you find in America and in Europe. And the, this little white flower with uh, its stem and its leaf, you wash them out. You can pick them up from the field. You wash them out. It's wild. And uh, you boil the water and you put the, the plant after the water has been boiled. Some people pour the water over it. There are too many ways to, to do it. Uh, in this case, we prefer to boil the water wash the plant and then put it in the water after it has boiled and um, this way the, uh, the plant will absorb and it will be very efficient yarrow is very particularly good for backache if you have a terrible backache and you can drink the tea made of yarrow you will see a very very potent herb do humble that will bring healing 
And then here it talks about making an infusion, a hot infusion. So it will indicate to you how to prepare the plant, a cold infusion, a long infusion, decoction, steams, poultice. These are the ways you serve, the, you use the herb, a compress, a tincture, solvent for tincture, steam distilled oil. So these are method in all the pages. If you follow through with the pages, it will give you those method. For the sake of time, we're not going to go over the method themselves. But we can tell you that these books are a piece of gold that you may want to print. These are what we call digital. And in, in case like you want to read them and you want to increase the um, here, just like that, the fonts, you can just increase the fonts and they're much easier. But you can print them actually, they're PDF format. Now, the next book that we recommend is the book of basically when you want to know about diseases. A disease-free life, and this is based on fruits and vegetables, changing of lifestyle, exercise, and avoid stress. It has a lot of beautiful, beautiful nuts and seed, especially when you want to treat cancer, either for yourself or for people that you know, and also prevention. Prevention is always better than cure. So we want to teach the people to change their lifestyle and obtain a cancer prevention, keep a body weight that is very, very balanced, not going up and down. It's no good to reach to 200 pounds and all of a sudden you have to work really hard to bring yourself back to where you first was, especially if you're in the 110 pounds, 120. That's very hard for the body to go up and down like this. Exercise is very important. Avoid any type of alcohol. Stress management. Stress is part of life. You're not going to be able to avoid it completely, but you can avoid some stress. Sleep. You need to sleep. Avoid any type of a smoking. Make sure your teeth are very, very healthy. And also, again, avoid heavy metals. That can be obtained in depending where you live. That can infiltrate into the water. And it can be very dangerous for your health. Mercury and every and metal you can find is very dangerous. Air pollution, well, this is hard to avoid unless we go and live in the mountain. And then pesticide. And uh, I always say pesticide and homicides and all the side. Try to avoid them because insecticide, because this is very unhealthy for you, and especially for the source of water. Household products, radon, suspected but not proven, and then it will show you what you can do to remain healthy. Very beautiful books. The next one is the book on, again, the lost book. And every one of them, this one is superfoods. So if you want to take time, here is another beautiful way of preserving your food to fermentation, freezing, canning, cooling, drying, smoking. This is basically the native Indian, they still dry their meat and smoke it and it can be preserved quite a long time personally as a vegan we don't need necessarily to dry meat because we don't need the meat but if we are eating meat if people eat meat that's a way of preserving it and also there are many ways of preserving fruits uh, and vegetables as well by canning but preferably if you can do the preserve with glass this is very important so again, it's a short book, only 27 pages. Very important to show you how to preserve food. And this is a very important one. It's called Smart, Easy Ways to Purify and Store Clean Water. And you can live without food for a while, but you cannot live without water. Water is necessary. You could die from that, not having good water. So this is, I'm going to have to go back a bit here, how to purify water for survival. Again, the good old method, this is probably the easiest one, boiling. You don't even need a stove. You can boil water if you have a pot and make a fire and boil that water so you drink it. And preferably, always carry with you charcoal if you could. Even if they're in capsule, you can open it, put the, cap, the, the, the charcoal in the water and then once it has been boiled, drink it and you will have purified water. You can also filtrate it. Water drops or tablets, DIY uh, is do it yourself. Water still, this is a still, this is for distillation. Solar water disinfection, 
we know that the, the sun definitely will purify the water if it's heat very very hot now you have actually if you have no charcoal you can make it it's made with wood coconut shell is good too but wood you you simply burn the wood and then once you have burned the wood and it has turned into a red red you have to have a red coal do not use coal that is used for barbecue because it has been prepared with chemical always use wood and or coconut shell burn it yourself and you don't have to activate it you can simply use the coal once it is burned you can actually take a glass of that water you have boiled and you can put that coal into the water and you don't have to grind it and it will still create some particles in the waters and suspension and that you can drink it now harvesting rainwater and filter it first i would say boil it too how to choose the right rainwater tank try to avoid pvc as much as possible again with even drinking from the water in plastic bottle if they have if that water has been in the sun if that bottle has been in the sun do not drink that water because polyvinyl chlorine that's how they make those plastic will have actually uh, been sipped through the water and you will be drinking pvc how to use rainwater type of rainwater tanks and especially underground water tanks again be careful what you're using for that tank if it's metal or if it is it, it's hard to win because it's either plastic or metal but in the old days they were able to preserve in the uh, when you do a well people know how to use to uh, make a tank the same way as you would do the inside of a well now cleaning and maintenance of your water tanks are very important for your good health and uh, smart tips for water storage during winter for those of us who live in a cold country tips things to be aware of when preparing pipes that also can carry some uh, bacteria and you have to be very careful about that so these things may seem very very impractical for people who live in the city they don't need it but you'd be surprised that eventually you might need it so knowledge is always valid to have so we encourage you to study these books for yourself and copy them, make some PDF copy of them and instruct people with it because many people are sick today and it's because their food or their water now has been so damaged that it creates the sickness that they suffer from. So may the Lord bless you as you learn to care for your health because you wish above all things that we might prosper and be in health even as our soul prospereth. May the Lord bless you.